Yes, everybody, Russell and the Western Network, hope you're safe and well. Welcome to Match Day Lunchtime. I'm not outside the stadium just yet. I'm, gonna, I'm still working, so I'll be going later on uh, ahead of the game against Brentford at the London Stadium. Eight o'clock kickoff in the UK. We'll be doing the watch along with Anton and Holly, I believe, um, tonight. So keep an eye on the channel. We'll also be doing the Predicted Eleven show as well. But how's your weekend been? How's your weekend been? We also did um, a little show today, actually, uh, talking about the David Moyes contract, the new contract that's on offer in terms of some of the terms of the contract as well. So let me know what you think. Uh, go back and watch that. Let's see. We've got the chat. We've got Oi Oi Mike. Michael, hope you're well, mate. Um, he's already put his 11 out. Uh, Johnson, Marapanos, JWP, Paquetta was a 10. Antonio left wing, Boeing you know, 49. Sounds lovely. Not going to happen though, is it, Michael? Let's be honest. Uh, good afternoon, Pebs. I'm well. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, Ivor Tony is 72 to score the first goal. Even the bookmakers think we're going to lose. We play a side that we've never been in the Premier League. And in fact, we've only we've never even drawn against we've never drawn against them either in the, in the Premier League. I don't think we've only beaten them in recent times thanks to a um the FA Cup, wasn't it? FA Cup third round. No, we've all we've lost to them. Five losses, five losses to Brentford. They are our new Brighton. Let's be honest. Um, last time, obviously, we played them in November. We lost three two at the G Tech Community Stadium with goals from uh, Caduce and Bowen. I want to say Caduce and Bowen. Yeah, three two. That was Neil Mopai's first goal in something like thirty five appearances. Um, and uh, yeah. Not looking forward to seeing Mo, Neil Mopai turn up tonight, I'll be honest. Afternoon, you think we get a draw as long as we don't concede first. Afternoon, Stefan, from a sunny Somerset. The circus continues. A win is required. I think it's. I think tonight re- it is pivotal, really, for the how the rest of this season goes. Um, you know, we're eight points clear behind sixth. We were like, I swear at one point, we were like six points clear of clear of seventh now we're eight points adrift from sixth um wednesday puts us back eighth on points level on points with brighton in seventh but with a far greater goal difference in terms of brighton uh, in fact we've got considerably the worst goal difference in the top 10 by like seven or eight goals something like that uh, everyone else in a positive frame of mind in terms of goal difference apart from west Ham, obviously um afternoon matt hope you're well uh, no stress indeed. Barry, good afternoon to you. TB, hope you're well. Um, evening, everyone. Uh, M day coming. If we go down in this one at home, then every player needs to take a good, hard look at themselves. Brentford have got a few injury worries. Joshua Silver's out. Um, we know Rico Henry's out. We know Hickey's out. I think they've got four or five players out. Either Tony's obviously back. West Ham could be welcoming back Lucas Paqueta. Obviously, he said on X yesterday, see you tomorrow with a match graphic. Moyes obviously saying that he's going to be considered in the match day squad potentially on for today in his press conference on Friday. Nothing else is mentioned in the press conference, I don't think. Um, so, yeah. Do answer to the show yesterday in terms of the preview. Do we risk him? I think we have. I think Moyes will. I think Moyes will risk him on the back of three three defeats, three defeats, two draws. Haven't won this year. Um, it's probably looking up, looking on paper in terms of the games coming up. I mean, Burnley on the tenth, maybe, but it's probably the most likely game we're going to win in you know in terms of home. Um, so yeah, it doesn't surprise me. He's going to join the dinner ladies for his new deal. Can we buy a Tony? Please, that'd be nice. After he talked you down, hope you're well. Three, two. I don't know whether to go later. I'm 50. Darren, go, go, come rain or shine. It's going to be entertaining, that's for sure. Uh, I think we can beat Brentford if Paquetta's back. Hate to say it, they played really well. They really did 17th, 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 17th
and we go seventh. He's only right. Not confident tonight. Even less now. He pointed out we've never beaten them. We haven't. They're our new Brighton. But then we've beaten Brighton, haven't we? Ludders. On the 13th time of asking. So anything's possible, my friends. Matt, hope you're well. Their run on winning against us must come to an end. Indeed. Why not now? And it's and um we had a great uh went to a great X play night on uh, on Friday, one of Ian's E13 events. And I was talking to Jimmy and we we're talking about Moyes. And he was saying that with Moyes, he is relatively a lucky manager when it comes to these types of games when we need something. It's dead, you know, it is we need something. We need something. We need something for the last two and a half months, two months or six weeks, whatever. Um but these games when it's just, you know, when 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 that when that sort of ticker in terms of how many games he's got left starts going less and less and less in terms of you know the, the wins aren't happening or the results aren't happening. That always he always has one game which resets the counter. And I and I, I could see it being today. And I could see it to be today with the likes of Paquetta. You know, come the Everton game um and no injuries tonight or sendings off tonight, we will have a fully available squad for that Everton game, which is the first time since since this year, since Christmas, where we have had a fully fit squad, um, or fully available squad, we'll say that. Seeing that uh, Bowen has been playing with Niggles for ages, yeah. I mean, a lot of players do play with Niggles, Ludders, but they don't, he, he usually all right. I mean, no, no one's usually 100% fit. Do you know what I mean? After that first little couple of games in the season, everyone's picking up a little knock or something, and they sort of struggle through. Afternoon, Stuart, I hope you're well. Um, afternoon, Peter. I think it might be a major shock if we scored tonight. You can always go about opponents, injuries, and we still mess it up indeed. You know who'll play Zuma and Suchek? Yeah, he will do, definitely. Will DJ be allowed to play Boomtown routes if we lose? Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Probably not. Never, never, never really get a result for Brentford. Think we only won. We did. We did. Was it Ben Rama scored that goal? I think it was Ben Rama. Let me go back. I'm pretty sure it was Ben he scored that goal. I was right. I was right. Well done, well done me. Pat the back. Uh, do you know the West Ham formation today? Probably 4-2-3-1, same as ever, my friend. Or 4 one 4 one depends how you, how you call it. I think we'll break our bad form tonight. I'll take a draw. I'm going for 2-2. Two, two. Um, Bowen and JDP, Ivor Tony and Keane, Lewis Potter for Brentford. Is he play, Is he back playing for them? Because he hasn't been playing for them. Obviously, they, they're, they're, they're 15. You know, they need something. They're only five points above the drop zone. So they need something today, that's for sure. Uh, is he back playing from old Keane Lewis Potter? So obviously, that was the one we was, we was desperate to get, weren't we, two years ago? And we never got him. And we never got him. Uh, did he play last week? He did. Came on for 20 minutes. They got Reggie on. They got Reggie on from Spurs. I suppose it makes sense because they haven't got any left backs. Um, it's Moise's neck on the line. He has to go for it. Indeed, a draw or we're beaten. Uh, but come on, your eyes. Don't. Not sure why, but we'll get a result. Indeed, T. That's how I feel today. But then that's just the optimistic side of me, which everyone hates sometimes. I think it's surreal. Can't say too long. So I say, I'm not going to be, a, it's not going to be a long show today. It's just to sort of get everyone, because he's been speaking a lot about the last week. And that's the trouble when you have like a whole week in between games. And obviously the narrative has been about Moyes and Moyes and Moyes. From this time on, lunchtime onwards, it's about the game. It's about focusing on this game because that inevitably be what is football all about, playing the actual game. And that's what we do have. Uh, would you risk him for a Swiss kit? What? No idea. I think Moyes will leave at the end of the season. 50-50, isn't it? It's 50-50. Yes or no? Uh, no hope of Bob Hope with this one, indeed. Is this game one of the five he wants us to win out of the 15? I don't know. I don't know. The five wins, who knows? The only the only newly promoted we have beaten in recent times is only Huddersfield and Luton. I believe you're right to sound that to me. Trouble is at the moment he doesn't need something to say he doesn't need he does not need something to see. Trouble is at the moment he does not need something to save his bacon. That ship has sailed. Um if Paquetus risks and goes down with another injury, the ball will have to ask questions. We'll be nervous about anything happening and bring him on in the second half. Maybe, maybe. I just don't I just think for Paquetas to come out and say that as well. See you tomorrow. You know, it's like 
he's obviously knows what's happening. He's obviously confident. Um, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I mean, it was a bit of a. I think we was all a bit, a little bit surprised when he came out when he sort of said that at the press conference. But I would have probably not mentioned anything, in all honesty. And then, da da, if I want to be, way, you know, exactly in terms of the uh, the side. So, you know, Brentford and no mugs, good players, Stams guards, you know, Tony Wiesa, Neil Bloody Mopai. We know that we know he's going to score. I'm happy with the contract implications in the most. Route. That is the ideal balance. I agree, Damien. I think that's, but then that's an, it. Sort of lends credence to why he hasn't signed the deal. In all honesty, because it's not something he wants to sign. Um, Russ, Darren, pray we turn a corner tomorrow today. Uh, well, I think we have to, really, don't we? It's got to happen eventually. He says, <laughs> he says, uh, well, it's down in 21. Yep, we'll be doing the, um, we'll be doing the Academy show tomorrow, um, tomorrow lunchtime. So get ready for that. So, and 18s, 18s had a good weekend as well. Not so much the guys on loan in terms of the Academy players. Didn't have a great week, the old loney, the academy loanies, to be honest. Uh, it was talking to each other. Hello, Phil and Mill. Rounds very good. Cyber, si, hope you're well, my friend. Good afternoon. I'm at Stuart at the London Stadium today. Good luck to you. Good luck. Have fun. It was Benny. Must win today. Indeed, it was Benny. I thought so. Um, what we got? I'm not too concerned with league position. That's for you to think about. If we can stream passes to have just a couple, it'd be impressive. It'd be nice. My account was hacked. Unbelievable. Uh, yet, yeah, Reggie on good player. Exactly, Russ. They are fighting, Stab. We are we are playing, not fighting. Therein lies the difference. Indeed. And the reason we've got enough, we're not fighting for anything at the moment, are we, it seems. But, as I said, you know, uh, Liverpool winning yesterday helps us out in terms of the league positions for Europe. Um, I think if Villa win the... If Villa win the conference... And they're inside the top. Then it all dropped down another one, I think. It could be five spots in the Champions League. Potentially could be eighth gets into Europe based on permutations. Don't know exactly what, know what those permutations are at the moment. Seventh gets you into Europe, gets you into the conference. Um, because where did Villa finish last season? Did Villa finish seventh or eighth last season? And they got into it. They got into it because we won the conference. Uh Premier League table 2022-23. Where did where did Villa finish? Seventh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was seventh. They still finished. Oh, it's because we were outside the we were outside, weren't we? So it didn't really matter. Uh, but if we were inside the top seven, then I think it drops down to eighth, I think. Uh talking to yourself is a matter of is Darren. Um Suchek will try to defend 70 minutes, Nick and Suchek Keller. Uh, sorry, more for uh more as well. Too risk averse to go for it. Of course, we will get a result. We will win, lose it very good. Uh, it's all been all about Moyes last few months. Probably since the beginning of his tenure, second tenure, to be honest. I would love to win today as the missus is getting me to watch the game as I don't know if West Ham will start winning to get worse. Uh, so ends my smoke break. I'll catch all you both. Take care, my friend. I'd love a Swiss kit. Why is a Swiss kit? I don't know. Um, only in the EL with a KO. It'll probably be empty apart from me. It is unfortunately, um, you know, the, the issue with what's the name with, with UEFA, really, uh, nothing to do with the club on this at all. Um, it's been agreed by the broadcasters and UEFA, really. Um, same as Rangers, Rangers have to play a 545 kickoff for their match versus Benfica, which surprises me because I think, you know, if we'd been drawn against a bigger side than Freiburg, I don't think we'd get a 545 kickoff in all honesty. Um, but we have. Uh, it's not going to be ideal at all, um, and yeah, you're probably right. And for me, I think they, I think they need to look at bring doing a kid to a quid or something like that, or you know, just to try and make sure we get a, a decent, decent, um, decent attendance. Um, yeah, it's it's very strange. It's been very strange. Uh, I thought it was a misprint, um, and then obviously found out it weren't. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to be able to sort it out. I'm going to have to get there. You know what I mean? So um, not ideal at all. Um, uh, hopefully that will only be for this this bit. 
and then uh, we'll wait and see what happens if we get through in terms of, in terms of the quarterfinals. We need to win our home games and fingers crossed for tonight. We ain't going to win. We ain't going to win 15 more games. He's deluded. No, that's what well, Matt, what he said was he's going to win f- about, he said it last week, f- about five. That's what he wants to win out of the last remaining league games. I'd risk it. What is a Swiss kit? What is a Swiss kit? Let me Google it. Oh, chocolate bar. I'd risk it for a Swiss kit. Okay. Far too. Uh, I have no idea uh, what the Swiss kits were. 1970s chocolate bar. Well before my time. I'm actually looking forward to tonight. See in, in the 11. Would be the cherry and the cake. Be nice. It would do. Uh, hopefully I get punched in the face for doing my job as a steward. Hopefully not. Um, thank you. This would be a game win and the pressure comes off. Losing the board. <laughs> Divers. Iron some Toby. Our problem must be too predictable. Who knows how we will play. Uh, and then, so what do you do? So you tell them that Paquetta is going to be in the squad. So it's even more predictable. If we hadn't, if no one had said about, about Paquetta, we still as fans would assume probably about another week, 10 days maybe. That to me is how you play the media to do that. Not necessarily saying, oh, he's going to, he's going to be considered. If he's even 70% fit, he plays. Moyes is desperate for the win. Has scored six or seven goals since going back to Brentford. Yeah, but who's his first goal against? Us. A new contract won't make him play watchable football. Um, well, you'll be surprised. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we don't know that's in the contract, but some stuff we do know roughly. We could assume he's in the contract. So there we go. It is bad to hope injured to get Dean or Sin. Uh, I, I agree. Uh, I know what you mean, though, Mark. Uh, for Arsenal for Life, hope you are my friend. Needs to come home as their loads are making a mug out of our youth squad. Don't really need to at the moment. You know, I mean, Gideon, uh, Gideon played uh, against West uh, for Wickham, started uh, at the weekend. Uh, Marshall, I, I said from the outset, Barry, vanity project. Weren't going to, wasn't right for him. Weren't right for him. Sounds great on paper, but in terms of games, look at Freddie Potts. That's that's when it works. Uh, it was because my phone autocorrected to Russia. Okay. When do you think, what do you think about the Europa League Cup draw? I was, um, I was a bit disappointed, I'll be honest, Stu, because I, I built myself up for Milan or Roma, as I always do. And then we got Freiburg, which you didn't think we could do. And in fact, some of the items next play said, that's wrong though, isn't it? No, nope, apparently not. Um, but, you know, in terms of likelihood, in terms of progression, they are probably the most likely side you could play in terms of hoping, hoping to progress. Yes, we haven't played well since we last played them, um, really. But neither have they. They're still eighth in the Bundesliga, I think. Um, and not really, haven't really done much. They lost again at the weekend, FC Altsburg. Uh, away, I think Griffo scored. I think Griff- Griffo scored a penalty. Then they scored two, like lot, towards the end of the last quarter of the game, like seventieth and eightieth minute or something like that. And so they're now, so they're ninth now. Freiburg, I've just checked. So they're similar position to us. Um, right, let's go down it more. Moyes will set up the usual way, no different tactics. Might bring us up with five minutes to go. We never know. I think we should go four, two, one, three, back four. Of Aged, Azuma, Zemerson, Sufal, Edison, JWP, Patman, front three of Antonio. But we know how, unfortunately, we know it's not going to happen because we know he's not going to drop Sujik, is he? Second side of mate, it is indeed. Uh, afternoon, drain, help you well. Can see first, it's good like Vienna. Eighth place following yesterday's. Is it though? I don't think it's official yet, Damien. I think it's based on because you get the top four. The fit is the fifth place based on our coefficient score for the Champions League, then it all moves down one. I'm not too sure. Russ, you might see, has got to be on the sign in desk at 4pm. Okie dokie, mate. Any will do. I'll have a... Oh, Aisha uh, uh, Lehman, yeah, from uh, formerly the West Ham women's side. Uh, couldn't put tickets on sale until 4 details, we know, for the home league game, indeed. Uh, yeah, I agree. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's the same as when we had the three-match... Um, ticket for the group stages. 
doing all that before we had the draw. It's the risk you take, isn't it? I mean, you could have bought a ticket and then say we did play AC Milan, the club would have gone, oh, shit, we could have sold the tickets for a lot more. Because they would have. They could have, you know. Um, we should see what they do in terms of just in general, in terms of what they do. Refunds, people who can't go now, all that type of stuff. They probably, it's probably all done in T's and C's, but you think in terms of, you know, it's beyond their, it's beyond their sort of possibilities. They had nothing to do with it in terms of the timings. It's all done by UEFA. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what happens. Um, what we got here, wasn't Freiburg fans supposed to be banned? Well, we were banned for the home uh, away leg, weren't we? So, heaven forbid, what would happen if it's another six? Oh, wouldn't be good, mate. Uh, would prefer starts on the bench. Me too. Any chance you could play Crazy Frog on replay? No. It's Anthony Dream Watch Longers might watch it during my break. Yep. He should do. Yeah, he did. He played uh, 50 odd minutes. They lost 1 0. There we go. Uh, thumb up, please. It's based on coefficients and at the moment are third. So, need teams in Europe to get to latter stage rates. But that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, club motto should, woulda, coulda. Uh, I think the club motto should, if, buts, and maybes. Or the club motto should be, if me auntie had bollocks, be me uncle. I could see that under the under the badge. Need the Germans and the Italians to so lose. I'm going for a 2 1. Bloody hell, Stu. So what do we think? Let's get our score predictions. Where's the old where's the old score prediction sting? I've got this here somewhere. Where is it? Score predictions. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is he is he taking it out? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yes. Right. What are your score predictions for tonight? What are we thinking? Let put it in the chat. What are we thinking? I'm gonna go with Stuart's gone for a two one. I'm gonna go for two two as per usual. As per usual. Uh, balls, I've got the thumbs up myself. Indeed, there we go. Takes on to no one. Uh, didn't pull up any trees. <laughs> that that needs to be a uh, that needs to be like a comment, doesn't it? What would be your club motto? What would be your motto in West Ham? <laughs> There'd be some quite funny ones, I think. I still think if you aren't me a bollocks, be, be my uncle. Um, because it that is basically what being a West Ham fan's been like. It's all about ifs, buts, and maybes. What we got here, we have got uh, 2 0, 3 0 losses. Peter, 2 2. I think we'll get a result. 2 1 West Ham from Damien. Um, what else we got? 2 uh, lo- lo- two nil loss. 3 1 says GP. Artel's gone 1 1 1. Dan's gone for 2 1 loss. Going to try and be optimistic. Bucks is losing 4 0. If that's you being optimistic, Scott, what have you been pessimistic? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Be careful what you wish for. That's that's the club motto, isn't it? Be careful what you wish for. 2 uh, 1. Uh, Mark's gone for a Desmond. Lose, Neil Poit and Moyes to get another five games. 1-1, one, 10-1 one, one to the Irons. 2-1 to Hammers. Put some out. Tim out. Uh, do as the Dwarf says. 1-1, one, one, losing 3-1. One. 1-1, one, one, losing 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one win. 1-1, one, 2-2. One, 2-2, two, two. Two, two, I said earlier. Love sees win 2-1. Raf's gone for 2-1. Yeah, so it's usually, so it's, you know, I'd say it's probably about 50-50. In terms of us getting something, not getting something, based on those, in terms of product predictions, Steve's got a 2-1 loss. FFP, yeah. <laughs> FFP PSR. Uh, sponsored by TalkSport. Now, I'm going to say that, TalkSport, right? People got to remember, and I saw this to Luke, TalkSport is a commercial radio station. It makes money for its commercials. How does it make more money for commercials? By making sure it has more listeners. How does it make having more listeners by being controversial by taking a stand by being you know a little bit left field a little bit argumentative so then people cue it to turn in the next day to see how that person will respond that's why jim's employed that's why jim white's employed that's what jim does jim brings in more listeners because him and simon jordan have a row or talk about something controversial and people get angry and phone in and then it gets mentioned on Twitter and, you know, the brand engagement. That's what they do. So just don't get worked up by it. That's what happens. Uh, just don't get a real, like, have to be a uh, man of the match again. As Zongo, Moyes will be Moyes. If players get a result after the last match, we are truly fucked. I agree. I totally agree, my friend. 
it's time for them to everyone to stand up and be counted. It has to be. It has to be. Uh, come on, we don't need a striker. Uh, should we? What's a striker? Should we? Uh, Richard gone for a two 0 defeat. Family stick together. I can imagine Ray Winston saying that on a voiceover. Family stick together. Even Fulham will finish above us. If Patman plays a win two one, having Simon Jordan on there could make them have less listeners. But it doesn't because if it did, he wouldn't be on there. And that's what happens because they get quarterly fi- figures every. Every quarter, obviously, by Ray Jar in terms of their their figures, in terms of the breakfast shows and various shows, and then they make. That's why every sort of three to four months, it tends to be there's a there's a refresh um, because you get the quarterly Ray Jar figures. Uh, should be what what it is you want. Talksport will be more his next job. They belittle everyone. Uh, we're bit, about ribbing ones, fair enough. Comment no, don't get worked up. Indeed. Well, that's what they should. That's it. If you don't get worked up, that's the thing. Because there's all this groundswell of fan disapprovement, I'm sure that's a word on Talksport, they'll keep doing it because it means that people uh, will tune in and they'll listen to the clips on YouTube and they'll share them and they'll tweet them. And da, da, da. it's like Luke, Luke tweeted about Jeff Ster- Stelling and he responded, so I don't like you now. Look, but that's the whole point of what they do. Whole point. Um, if Paquette starts and stays on, we can get a win. We believe in a Gerd. If we don't get a reaction after a seat, we didn't. You're totally right, Kai. We didn't. You're totally right, my friend. Uh, three one hammers win. Where do you get your sweets from now? The as as the be as is all right. Do you know what, Ludders? It's not co op, it's not co op granted, but I do like the Asda and I like their bread. I do like their baguettes. Surprised you ain't dressed as Heidi with that milk churn you're drinking. Yeah, is that especially that's ice that's been there since this morning. These are really these Stanley ones are really good. I get one drink, leave it there. For, it's still cold. One at David Kelly. There's only one David Kelly. The only time I went to see once see uh, uh Fons get a match is when he scores a hat fresh, a freak hat trick from goal kicks. Be careful what you wish for indeed. Two one, Bowen Antonio. Uh, Nolan Noble caretakers till summit, then we'll still, yeah, what can happen? I've still listened to a lot of the media sources now and subscribe to Chris Sutton's podcast. Used to like him. There we go. That, that's yes, your prerogative, Kai. That's what you, if you want to do it, that, that's 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 what you do. The trouble is, there's hundreds more people in it. Um, listen to talk sport for years. Have a listen. Um, uh, Moyes once worked together, so he loves Moyes. It's one of those things, you know, he does have a lot of, and that's that's why he did it, did what he did on Friday in terms of the contract stuff. That's why he did it. Um, because, you know, what happened? Every media outlet, every sports news outlet had that quote on repeat for the whole of that evening. And that's put it, that's like, you know, at least Moyes now it seems like he's got the power. We have led to believe that's not the case. And indeed, if anything, I think he's probably belittled himself a little bit because by doing that, he sort of said, oh, it's my choice. Well, then you're a mug, mate, to be honest, because you want to keep yourself in in contract as long, long as possible, as long as a contract as possible for that exact reason. So you've got the situation where you've got, you know, if he did get sacked and you was on a new three year deal, you're gonna get paid out for those three years. Um talks bollocks more like very good. Uh and I Danny at your own mates. I'm very well. Hope you are well. all is well in, in the US of A. We suffer for our love of West Ham. Southern Pumits are turning now must hate watching, must have watched some games. Well, I think some are always you've got the slight the ones who don't tend to be on very often, the likes of Graham Soonis, he's very much and a few others. Um, but that's what they do. I mean, Colton was talking on that um on the on the player night we went to, and he was talking about how basically they would sit there and in, in the pre in sort of the pre production meetings at Talksport and, and you know what people want to talk about. What should we talk about? And you know, they'll, they'll, they'll make sure they talk about that specific thing because they know people will tune in and will engage and we'll tweet and we'll share and we'll clip and all that type of stuff. Cause that's what it's all about. 
Moyes is too good for West Ham, yet he's not good enough for most of the Premier League teams. Indeed. Uh, with Jelly Deal and the Taco World. Nice. Um, don't want to debate Moyes in anymore. What will, what will be, will be. Fans can't change it. The boys, the balls prove that. Exactly. Exactly, Mark. We are making a decision. And as I said, we did it. Was it two weeks ago? I did the whole thing about the business reason why they'll probably they could keep David Moyes. Um, yeah, there is a counter argument, which is we could get more business if we are higher up in the league. And uh, yeah, it's true. But as a base, they're they from a business perspective, they're happy. Really, they're making money. They're making bunts. Imagine the publicity if we had the first female manager. Mm. He's using the old walking football tactics since the Arsenal game. Kenneth, hope you're well. I'm not confident about tonight. Russ, bad record against Brett. I think we'll lose. You think Moyes will sign a new contract in the season? Not in its current format, in my opinion. Uh, love talk shot the other day where Moyes could go next, even have or well, no because of the playing style. Uh, Matt, I hope you're well. Pundits are clueless. They sell out so much to their TV employees. They forget they actually play football. Fortunately, they get paid by their employees. So they get paid what to say, really, unless it's their own personal sort of podcast. Whatever. You're not going to get their true reflection, to be fair. Uh, that Gonzo is a good look. He is indeed. Um, would you take, would you let, would you take realistically, if you, who would take him, sorry, if you let him go, maybe Crystal Palace, but they're not now. Maybe on the promoted sides, like it's halfway into a season, if it's not having a go. So if Moyes was like free and say the Sheffield when United job was up, they'd have probably wouldn't be surprised having a chat with Moyes as well as Chris Wilder. Uh, just hard not to click on a random. Indeed, that's it. And that is it. I think players and start and players can't wait to end the season. Do you think another Burnley right could happen or if we pass those? I think we pass those days, Kai, I reckon. But you never know, D. Unfortunately, you don't know. I think we're past them. It was quite interesting on, again, this player night. Someone on the Q&A, someone asked about Moyes. And to be fair, I think Jimmy and Colton hold it, handed it very well in terms of getting their opinions across. And then someone followed up with another question about Moyes. And literally, there was about 200 people in that room and everyone went, oh, I just think they're bored of it. I just think they're bored of it. And we know there's unless unless he gets unless he loses like the next three or four games he's in the summer in a in all honesty um yeah i think so look we'll wait and see what happens um thoughts on tutu and, and would you like him to be a manager yeah i would love him to be first team coach at west Ham. um i think he i think he worked really well with him whether he comes is another thing um Barcelona are interested, apparently. But he just seems to have just done all these really high-profile clubs and not really had fantastic success. Um, would he take a project? Don't know. He is mates with Tim, and they were going to work together at Chelsea, but that fell through. So we'll have to wait and see. I, I, I'd really, I, I would like him as our manager. I think, you know, he's particularly if we don't get Europe. Because how are you going to encourage people to come and play for you if you haven't got that European uh, carrot? You either pay him a lot of money, uh, which we could do, pay him a reasonable wage, or it's about the manager and and playing for that manager. And he does have and he does have a, he's a name, so he will you know maybe players from a lesser side would play for him, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, look at you, uh, game over. Goodbye, Mr. Turnip. Get Alvarez as a captain. Indeed. Uh, why do you hate me? Hughesy, do you know what? I haven't. I'm so sorry. Um, I haven't sent it out. I will send it. I need to send loads of stuff out. I need to have a... I mean, I was going to do it this weekend. I do um, I do apologise. I do apologise. I've got loads to send out. Loads to send out. I just need to do it. I'm going to probably do it, send it out on Friday. I'm trying to think when my free-ish calendar. I could probably do it Friday and get it out set off on the Saturday. So, yeah, I do apologise. Uh, when will we get X-Hammers on our games on Sky Sports or TNT? TNT, we do get to get them, don't we? 2-2, two, two, uh, we don't win next two games and I see trouble. If Moyes stays, we will lose too much potentially. Um, Caduce, Aguerd, Pac-Man, Alvarez and Steinden. 
He may have done well for us, but he's not worth losing all that. Rather, he went. Indeed, about pundits and being paid, most of them stick to the script with Moyes, except the championship job is he's so far gone that he thinks he's too good for that. Depends what the side is, isn't it? If it's a big championship club or a side that's been relegated and he can see projects, then I think he could. He ain't done in football, that's for sure. Uh, if Moyes signs a new contract, he might have a right. I don't think he will. Um, I think it's not knowing. There'll be a lot of discontent, that's for sure. A lot of discontent. Um, but I don't think it'll be to that extent. But you just don't know, GPS. Be honest, we just don't know. If there's another right, it will be points deduction set. I totally agree. Three, two, speak, a squeaky bum time. Uh, we can't. Why can't we dream being a top four? Of course, we can dream about being. We can dream about being a top four club, Mark Cox. But I don't think we're going to get there. Not, not with, not even. But even if you know the days of being taken over by a billionaire, you know, oil baron, that doesn't work now at the moment on the Cuff FFP. I mean, look at Newcastle; they're the richest club in the world, and we're just we're just behind them. If we win, we go above them. They can't buy anyone; they have to sell before they buy. That's the issue. Um, Moyes always knows how to turn it around when he's yeah, exactly. He always does. You're totally right, man. Always does. Why give him three or four games? We have not won. What are we waiting for? No idea. Uh, beat Liverpool 4 0 away in November, didn't they? They did. They did indeed. Tuchel is much of a journeyman for me, but give him a chance. Uh, ref is Simon Hooper and Michael Oliver. I don't think it could happen like the Burnley one. Molnar to a process. It's a bond scheme, but the fan base has changed so much since the move. Tuchel would love a move back to him. I'm worried he won't get Europe next year, and that's the first time over the last few years, which is mental, isn't it, Mark, thinking about it, having not been in Europe for the previous, in the last few years, but for the previous 20 years, 30 years before then. Still, we'll still, can't see it happening, mate. Not for a few years, at least. Whoever comes in has got massive jobs to deal with all the players leaving at the end of the season. West Ham will lose 1-0. Mopar in the last minute. You know it's happened. Also, all this Moyes talk out and the crowd pressure as an outsider looking in from the league position um, and stages. Who wouldn't fancy coming in right now? You're right, T. But what they would do is they'll do their due diligence and they'll look on social media and see there's a right schism in the fan base when it comes to David Moyes, isn't there? So, um I mean, you're on paper, isn't it? On paper. Decent his sides, you know, on paper, you know, okay season. That stage of Europe again. Um, you know, if we got past Freiburg, that's a semi, a final where we won, and a quarter final of Europa League. On paper, that ain't bad, is it? But as uh, Nigel Clough said, Brian Clough, I'm not Nigel, football is not one on paper. After the Maltese, we'll be good at Millwall. Thomas Frank, that'd be good, yeah. His attitude, he's not experienced enough yet. Uh, he said the same thing again. Uh, last two shouldn't get annoyed. At least we're in the Premier League. Tenth could be real. You're totally right, my friend. Thomas Frank, rather better than Mark Noble. Who, Thomas Frank, um, at those three. Afternoon, Ruby, nice to see ya. Tuchel has, yeah, but I just think Tuchel's not Going for the money just yet, just yet. Not saying he wouldn't, but not just yet. Get his thumbs up. Paquetta was the captain, Russ. Nah, nah. Rather Alvarez, to be honest. Um, scoring for their clubs. If Paquetta was injured, we are done. Last season was our best and worst season since. Get, yeah, exactly. Best and worst. Moyes was Celtic when they sat Rogers for not winning the league, and then we ended up getting Rogers probably. There we go. That would be uh, Sullivan's wet dream. That would be. Um, what we've got here, uh, Kim, the best young players. We only got decked because Liverpool, Chelsea were letting him go. Also, Liverpool perspective, they, they you know, they, they had to play a full supply of youngsters as well because of so many injuries, yes, you know, to their squad in the like, recent times. So, um, I think they tend to be the exception to the rule when you look at it in terms of bringing through the academy players into the first team. Um, it does seem to always be either an injury crisis or like Chelsea, they couldn't sell and you couldn't buy anyone. So they had to implement so the kids coming in. It's another day. We slipped for further down the league. We'll see. Uh, we've come along leaps about the last few seasons. There's no reason we can't push on. Yep, I agree. It amazes me that Harvey had only 20. So then they were trusted by the managers and the managers have the confidence in them. That's an F off to Moyes. There we go. I do think also, though, when you look at Ben Rahman and Four Nows, our squad had developed a lot 
since that since they came in. You know, I can't see like four nails, like would he maybe with the exception of Suchek on a fan's perspective rather than Moise's perspective, would he get inside above an Alvarez, a Paqueta and no, he wouldn't. So he would have been a squad player. So, and same with Benny as well. You know, they're in a situation now where they're going into lesser squads, so to speak. Less competition ahead of them, I meant. Um, and they're flourishing. But they would flourish because there's probably not as much pressure on them to deliver. So when they did have those those chances, they, they came on. They knew they had to deliver to have any chance of staying in the first team. Um, completely agree, Mark. think owners already set the bar high when we moved. Confident, 2-2. Two, two. I agree, Ralph, they're playing well on their left. Fours was played out of position. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, but then four now was bought as a 10 by Pellegrini, by Pellegrini, by Moyes. Moyes then converted him because we had enough 10s into a box to box which meant he got more game time than he would have done if he stayed as a 10 in the first place. So he wouldn't have played less if he hadn't moved him into a Box to box role, and I think I think actually that was he played a lot better in that position for us. So look, it's all swings and roundabouts. We'll get in the team. Benny was never prime. What? Yeah, but when was four nows his prime? That's what I'm saying. He's like for me, he the squad moved on, the squad moved on, um, and so his 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 chances were less. And so, therefore, there's more pressure on him to deliver when he was given chances. As I said, last season, he still made 50 appearances um, for West Ham, 25 subs, 25 appearance starts, something like that. So he still played plenty of football. Um, some have been in Europe as well, been in the Conference League. Um, but still, he still made 50 appearances last season. But he wanted more in the league, and he wasn't going to get that at West Ham. So he made the right decision, which I agree with. Um even if injuries Moyes would not play them, he would do anything else. I keep, I can't keep making excuses for his lack of vision or tactical knowledge. Exactly what I said about Benny the other day. Well, there we go. You see, my glass is more half empty today. Oh, dear. Uh, right. I'm going to have to shoot in a minute. Uh, four hours, Lanzini were ruined by Moyes. Short memories. They were good. Yeah, they, they are good players. They are good players. But I think, Trini, in, in my, and this is just my opinion, is our squad moved on. It moved on. You know, I think for me, and and then by the time, like you know, and we talk about yeah, the Johnson thing. So by the time we were going to be, you know, where where Benny could have got into the side. And don't forget last season, Benny. Was, there was a lot of opportunities where Benny wasn't playing well, and Moyes kept him on. Where normally he'd have hooked him off the season before. Last season, he kept him on for a lot more. Now, obviously, situation with Ben Johnson. By then, Benny had already gone. You know, he was always, he was always going to go, and so they didn't play him because he was going to go. So, I, I think I, de- I genuinely think the squad had moved on. We'd bought well in midfield, and so for some like four nows, he's, he's he was probably at fourth choice, wasn't he? Really? Um, and yeah, he was our second best player last year. But by then, we'd moved it around. Paquetta had gone moved on to the left hand side. We brought Kudus in. We had Bowen. Corne was even getting a look in either. So look, we'll see what happens, mate. It was not good enough, but we maybe could have got a bit more out of him. Yeah, probably, probably right. Probably right, Carl. We probably could have got a bit more out of him under another manager. But I wouldn't think he would be the world beater that and never really and I think he peaked. I think he peaked, you know, for me. We never really got never really got there. Do you know what I mean? We always we always wishing he got to the next stage, but he never got to that next stage. Um, four nails are both below par, but option at left back. Then, yep, I totally agree. Totally agree, mate. Totally agree. And that's the thing we we're always hoping. And I'm not being funny. Ben Ram was 28, 29. He's he'd passed his peak. So had four nails. He's passed his peak. I think too often we've almost kept players on. Then actually, if we're not playing them, let's move them on. They can get first team football and then we can bring people in. Obviously, we didn't bring people in. That was the trouble. Um, but I think for too often than not, we've been keeping players well beyond their sell on their, 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 their sell out, their sell by date. You know, so someone like Cresswell, someone like Oggy, I'd say, yeah, you've got this all random game where he'll play really well, but we haven't got, but we sort of hold on to them. Sorry, I didn't understand that. 
we hold it, held, held on to them for too long. Um, and we need to be, in terms of a club, we need to be more ruthless, I'd suggest, in terms of that. So, you know, things like the youth team. If this player is not going to break into the first team, let's do a man, what Man City do, because it's the Man City model that everyone talks about in terms of, you know, they sell them to Southampton usually and bring in another load of kids into the academy. If they don't make it, they'll sell them on and bring them in. You know, rather than keep these guys hanging on, you know, they might get 10 minutes here. They might. We need to be a lot more ruthless, I think, in terms of our squad, in terms of, you know, making sure we've got a hungry squad, a squad that could all play, can all fit into a system. Um, and that includes the academy as well. Yeah. Uh, what we got here? What we got here? Um, I'm sure the other day said he was playing his best football now. Why do we play one of the best wingers in the league on left wing? No idea. In terms of Paqueta, that's he's always done that. He's always done that in terms of playing that. Yeah, he did it Everton and Leon Osman and stuff like that. We have converted striker indeed. Uh all the money spent still struggling. Yeah, we sent we spent a lot. We bought a lot. We sold a lot. Um, I think we're quite high up in terms of net spend in terms of uh, or in terms of less in terms of players we've brought in to players we've sold. Some haven't worked out. Some have the latest bunch have, um, you know. I think you know in terms of the, the guys we brought in in the summer under Tim. So you know, in terms of how the money's been spent, I think it's been spent better now than it was maybe before. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, I can't believe it, we still have. Yeah, indeed. Even Siri thinks Russ is talking bollocks. Isn't good enough, indeed. Uh, can you ask your what? Well, no, I'm not going to. Uh, we've got Tim will be ruthless. We get shot of Deadwood. That's what we need to do. Needs to play on the right, but what happens to Bowen? I think Bowen plays up top, unfortunately. Um, can coach us to a win today. Who knows, Ken? Anyway, on that bombshell, I've got to go. So a bit more work before I go tonight. But anyway, hope you enjoy the game tonight. Hope we win or get some sort of result. As I said, uh, if you're new around here, don't forget to like, comment, share. Go back and check out our video we did this morning about the David Moyes con contract in terms of the KPIs, in terms of the uh, items of the contract. Um, that he has uh, got apparently waiting for him to sign at the end of the summer uh, and why he hasn't signed it because of those. And until next time, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Keep the faith, my bloody friends. And as Tony says, as Tony, as Toby says, irons. Ah.